Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for some more Stellaris. I'm your Leo Skelvin. So, 92% getting there. So close. In three months to neutronium extraction. It's like 60 months to genetic resequencing. We'll probably uh, move this guy around, honestly. I mean, matter compression, the kinetic battery, or mass drivers. I guess mass drivers. We'll just start complete. getting kinetic weapons. Man. Construction Even complete. small kinetic weapons only have 76% accuracy. That is Construction bad. Complete. Construction complete. Okay, good. 95%. And our fleet is now up to 291. And we still have over 400. You know, since you guys are fully repaired, I kind of want you guys sitting off-world. 350 right now. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, gosh. We'd be worried. Mm-hmm. Fleet capacity is rising. Fleet capacity is indeed rising. Alright, so let's keep uh, trying to pump out some more battleships here and there. The real problem, like I said, is we just don't get enough minerals in to keep up this level of industry. Research complete. Neutronium, baby. Did we find any? Yes, we've got two neutronium even. Although it doesn't stack, that does mean that all of our ships just get plus 20% armor. Offensive aura inhibitor. Offensive one. So, I know auras used to be a thing on battleships. But notably, uh, if I go to the ship designer these days, click on my battleship, the aura slot is missing. Unless it's now in these, but it says it's a C, so it should go like here. Will that just appear if I research an aura? Like, do I just need to research an aura or something? Also, notably, this guy generated me three rare techs. <laughs> All right, so what does the Guam destabilize do? Fire rate minus 15%. Hmm. Defensive platform station, fortress. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's just been moved to just fortresses uh, and defensive buildings. Nice. Interesting, but not really necessary, thank you. That said, I mean, I should probably grab... Something. Hard to say. I guess we'll just do AI-controlled colony ships, because I want to switch this guy around. Someone who's a... With our genetic resequencing guy. And hey! Governor skill increased by two, and leader capacity increased by two. Ding. Yeah, we're just four friggin' uh, things away here. You know, I actually want to change this out. I want him leading engineering research right now, not for speed. Not at all for speed. I'm not going to lie. Don't care about speed. But if he generates me rare technologies like that, I need him to get me mega structures tech. Construction complete. I need him to get me mega structures, mate. That's... Come on. Spew me out some rare techs, baby. Because mm. miss... I've been missing out on those. Construction complete. Alright. Now we're getting there. We have just half as many battleships as I want to have right now. It's a start. I would like fit I would like twenty-five more though. For anyone counting, that's another two hundred uh, stuff here, so give or take. So we'll end up having a total of five hundred fleet usage. Alright. We have a decent uh, decent amount of strategic resources just sitting around in reserve and all that. Oh. I guess the habitat is done, isn't it? Oh, we need to colonize it? Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I'm fine with that. That's whatever, but... Noted! I guess we'll need three private colony ships then. Aw, oh, these count as worlds entirely then, don't they? 
They also, I mean, have nothing on them, but that's fine. Yeah. And everyone's just like, ooh, new stuff, let's scan it. I guess they probably scan the entire galaxy at this point. Yeah. So it's like, ooh, new shit. Let's go scan it. <laughs> Alright. So let's continue trying to produce more battleships. Trading occasionally for more minerals with our spare energy. Ideally, I'd like to, like I said, build up to 500 fleet cap. Rare technology for construction. Mm. I mean, that's pretty good anyway. And only about 70 months. All right. That's fine. I mostly just want him now focusing on this uh, right here. Force that through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still missing mega engineering technology for the circle of life and galactic wonders alike. All right. Come one, come all. Scan our new habitats. <laughs> they don't actually start scanned then, do they? Probably mean. Can I settle them unscanned? Do they start scanned because I built them? Maybe. I... Yeah. I can't survey the system, so it appears I have them scanned. Mm, all right. This is fine, though. I mean, I can... What that terrain? Mineral plates over an act as rain-made foundations for urban industrial construction. Gunpowder. Discovered in the primitive veiling site. Oh, how nice. They were in... Yeah, they're, they're moving into the Renaissance Age. Indoctrination. Technological enlightenment. Covert infiltration as gene tailoring. Now uh, we need industrial age. Alright. Well, either way, we've got our colony ship ready. So, yeah, it's considered a planet through and through. I've never actually seen habitats, honestly, so I don't know much about them. Construction. Let's find out. Because the more you know. 41 months until this, though. This is actually really nice, though. Alright. Let's try and uh, see what there is to see with these neat habitat things. I suppose colonization will take a while, won't it? But, that's fine. Just be patient, I suppose. Colonization in progress. Mm -hmm. Takes us like six months to colonize, that's fine. Just about that time, I'm just like, hey, I controlled colony ships. It'd be really handy right about now. Because suddenly, I'm entering a new wave of colonization. Yeah, so the the AI, uh, or, well, just the colony ship techs in general, are probably pretty good to pick up at this point. I've avoided them because I've been kind of strapped for tech budgeting, and I've really needed to focus on combat so I don't get wrecked by all the other empires. But, you know, now I'm uh, in a much better spot, so... You know, I have enough energy. Is it worth it if I just buy two more curators and just replace those guys? And just be like, curators for all. Curators for all. You know what? I think I will. Because that's like an extra 15% on top of what I already get from the curators. Mm -hmm. So that's not a terrible idea, actually. Okay. Hey, curators. What's up? Uh, we already employ a curator scientist. Darn. Goodbye. I was like, hey, can I have three of your guys and just have you guys running the entire research department? Because that would be pretty sweet. Uh, out of curiosity, do you... 
Mm. I'm trying to th figure stuff out about you. Okay, your age is a max age is 142. All right. So you're not quite as uh, high up as the others, but um, I think. Complete. Oh, you're actually higher up, yeah. Because you have a, the extra 15 years perk. All right. Nice. Yeah, the self-aware colony ships would probably be up next. I'm not actually going to colonize yet. I'd much prefer to wait a little bit. Uh, this actually takes a longer time to do than I thought. All right. Well, that's fine. Calling development speed plus 50%. I thought that would speed it up a bunch, but apparently not. I actually kind of felt like it set it back or something. I don't know. But I want to finish colonizing a habitat before I move on to the others. Because I may have screwed up building habitats in my home system. And we might just straight up abandon this place. Because I have a bad feeling that... Um, Oh, Habitat Administration. Oh, so they have a different administrative structure. Interesting. That's probably why it takes longer. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. Hmm. All right, well, we'll wait and see how it goes. 64 months. We're almost done with domination as a tradition as well. I mean, the best part about being able uh, to do domination or finishing domination, so I can reform the government and get rid of agrarian ideal. Because as nice as the agrarian ideal is, uh, and inward perfection as well, as nice as they are, like, it's just, they're, they're unity production. I don't need that. I'd prefer to get, like, environmentalist and probably efficient bureaucracy, honestly. And just pick up more planets for my core, because my core isn't big enough already. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Oh, so habitats come up differently than plants in the outliner. They get different buildings, too. Noted. Well, we'll find out what they get. What I'm really curious to see is if they take up a planet slot. Like, are they considered, you know, one of these? Directly controlled systems. Control 14 colonized systems. Complete. Mm hmm. Oh no, but these are systems now. They changed that, didn't they? they? They changed it there, but they didn't change it anywhere else, did they? Because the rest all still say court world. Uh, interestingly enough. No, it's here. It's government, right? Because, yeah. I don't know, core sector systems. I don't know if that changed to where plants with multiple systems in, or planets in them uh, do it, though. I know it was like that in the beta. Which made kind of multi-plant systems weird, but... I mean, I suppose the easy way to tell is if I count these out. 15, 14, because of the boundary as well. So yeah, no. They're perfectly fine. In fact, get colonizing. At least as long as I have something in that system already. That should be perfectly fine. Get to work, guys. Begin colonizing. Colonization in progress. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, we'll have to see what happens if it, a habitat's only in a system, but I'm going to wager it's probably fine. So mega structures, habitat. We can still construct two more in this uh, system, so we might as well. Colonization in progress. We'll try anyway. These are expensive somewhat. All right. But yeah, I'm interested to see uh, how the habitats work out. Because, goodness, I mean, the amount of development... I mean, assuming that they can produce minerals and energy, there's a good chance that we could do some good stuff with this. We'll find out, I suppose. Hello. Here follows the latest newsletter to all our patrons. Introduce and... Much in the Enclave, most of the Earths have fallen into deep melancholy from the inspiration to be drawn to the Tower. But of course. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I needed some uh, influence anyway. I didn't need minerals too, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so we've got a habitat now, everybody. Alright, Agriculture Zone. 
Astro Mining Bay. I would have to depend on the facilities to mine to process minerals from nearby asteroids and planetoids. I see. So, yeah. They're just nice. All right. They're very good at energy production. All right. So it's just a normal day then. The Thelmar. Interstellar Republic. You guys. You bastards are going to burn for that. Pro tip. Nobody's ever successfully attacked me before. I don't know why you would ever think to do that. All right, so let's go down to burning planets. No, not liberate. We want to go down further. Here we are. Cleanse the beacon of infinity. Son of a bitch, yeah. These guys have taken over the beacons. The Rixie Intercell Alliance might just be able to beat them out. They might actually be able to beat me. Of course, they'd have to get pretty far across the galaxy, so I don't know how well that'll work out for them. We'll see, though. So... Kohar, Jiminya, Beta Kale. Jiminya. Uh, wow. What? There's three freaking planets in here? Fuck. Oh, We've got them all. So I can't even cleanse that system in its entirety. That's a nuisance, isn't it? Uh, let's see. I hate it. I can't even find their others. But, alright. Alright, I guess we have to leave one planet in beta sail. Alright. I mean, I'm not super worried. Fortress probably means the habitats might be a little underdeveloped. Maybe. Leisure district, huh? Just pretty much a straight three uh three unity from that. That's pretty neat. A visitor center. I can get habitability five percent, not really necessary though. I mean, I can't build the uh, mineral processing plant. Okay, we can increase our monthly mineral production by one. Building or creating mining networks on the surface of all these plants. Okay, no, that's just minerals in general. It's telling me. I thought it was like, you can do that with an astro mining bay? What? You guys just do that. We'll see. Presumably, it can't be upgraded, I'm guessing, but... I don't think there's a level two of it. A hunch, I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where is my... I mean, I'm pretty certain I have an army somewhere, right? Or, or is my army just dead? Did I just lose my army at some point? I might have, in all honesty. I, I probably wouldn't notice. <laughs> Yeah, no, the, the, the army is just gone. All right. Well, I think it was... Subra, actually. They have the cloning vats, so... We can get the clone armies. They're cheap, they're quick, they're easy to build. Or we could build even bigger and more powerful armies. The Jean Warrior Army are the biggest and baddest. But, man, they take a little while to build, and god, are they expensive. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll start with just ten. Make sure we get them all outfitted with, uh, something. Twenty-nine months until advanced traits. All right. You keep scrolling past it. I do I? 
Rally point, observation post, factions, sectors. Observation, rally point. There is no armies here. There's a military fleet. But there is literally no army. There would be an entire army section, actually. So, I disagree. I do not keep scrolling past it. Up to the USSR in the last war. Oh, I probably did, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's probably when I lost it. I agree. I was getting ready for some kind of offensive Hostile against them, but just detected. didn't pan out, so... I kind of left them there. Mm -hmm. Well, our war fleet's already on the way. Why do they shy away from this combat? Come on. Alright. Yeah, they're just coming in straight here for trying to take out one that, uh... And they've got their Hostile transport fleet, fleet ready. Now, ironically enough, we have a very slim border here with uh, the Thelmar. The Themlar, sorry. They, uh, they and I. Nice slim border. Hey, guys. Suddenly regretting your uh, choices, are you? I mean, they're probably still going to get our spaceport, unfortunately, but that's all right. Situation there are worse fates. Updated. Oh, no, they they just they just left. <laughs> spaceport survived. Great news. Hmm. They, uh, they made a wise choice in that, I'd say. Just like, whoops. Now, you guys, surprisingly enough, have not rivaled the Rixie. You actually have some trading deals. Alright, so the Rixie Interstellar Dominion can come down through the Hudvuzan Coalition, but either way, it still ends up with the same amount. Yeah, they got out. That's fine. They're just going deeper into our... or... what? Spaceport lost. Oh yes. Mm. They they they've straight up just run through us. All right. Okay, peace was made. How'd this go for them? It looks like they fought them to a bitter white peace. Good work, everyone. Their fleet powers only superior now. Oh yeah, they're. Hostile fleet detected. Situation log updated. Mm-hmm. All right. Situation log updated. Hi there. I'd like to have a word with you. Colony established. All right. Cool. Good stuff. So, surface wise, still under construction, but. Mm -hmm. Just keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep the f keep the fire up. I'm getting closer to the larger ships Colony now. Established. Construction complete. All right. Successful screen. We lost only two battleships here. Situation log yeah. updated. So, in their foolish aggression, they've... I mean, they've taken out two spaceports, but... That's it. They're losing, uh, they're losing. <laughs> the real trick is they had some time. Apparently, Merce is under siege? What? How the hell did they just proliferate through our empire like this? I 
no, no. Yeah, they uh, they have. All right. In all honesty, you know what I need? Like, the Bennett's not just as strategic as hell, considering it's the main gate here. I need to establish a fortress or something in there. So now we actually have to go to the ship designer, so let's do that. Fortress. Probably want a light, two mediums, and a heavy. That's pretty reasonable. I, I, th I assume those are just point defense. And we need to build. I mean, honestly, I'd probably want to scale that up then. Yeah. All right, so what are we talking about here? Well, let's start with however much armor is necessary. Ninety percent, excellent. Because that's a lot of health, so but we do lose that on a lot of shields, it would turn out. Mm -hmm. Fix our light chips. So yeah, we won an FTL inhibitor for sure. Each of them, 20 percent chance each day to take five to fifteen damage, ignoring several percent of the damage can be dodged. I see. Hmm. Station mounted tachyon sensors. We'll drop them down to tier three sensors and the inhibitor aura. Somehow, I don't think afterburners will help. But I feel bad only having like 525 shields. I just feel like it's not very many, much, which it isn't. But at the same time, with so many hull points, there's a decent amount of uh, stuff to be said here. On the other hand, 8% 8 of 8,000 is, let me check my calculator, times 8,000. 640. So, if by some miracle I could say, not much extra. Yeah, I guess it is kind of worth. Nine. All right. So that is 800 health. Whereas I lose 11% from that. So 0 0.11 times 8,000. 880. So yeah, that is worth. Oh god, it's nowhere near enough though. Yeesh. Yeah, it, I think armor is just better. Because <laughs> the station just has too much health. It's it, it just actually works out to be better just to armor it up. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. All right. Fortress class fortress. We only need one class of it. So, yeah. Let me get me construction ship over here. No. Right. Over here. Because they have manage to just kind of proliferate through us and they shouldn't have too many other ways through because yeah you guys are rivaled oh no you aren't rivaled to these guys so you could have come up through here somewhere because yeah we do share a border there. Log is that actually the only border we share okay now there's two border points here noted but 
It's not a terrible idea to get one down anyway. So. Let's blow them out of the sky. Good. Army recruitment finally complete. Hi. Yeah, no, uh, Merce will just fall apart because they somehow have so many fleets, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> like, an absurd number of fleets. And they all just kind of fell under my radar, I'm apparently. As I just continue to blow several of them out of the sky. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Zero point reactors, anything interesting? Jump, j j jump drive? That would be how they got here then. They have jump drive. Holy shit. Yeah, that fortress is useless. You know, this explains some things. You know, like the unbidden. Man, I also still haven't ra ra managed to roll jump drive all these years. Son of a... Those bastards. All right. Next up, by the way. Let's uh, go have a chat with the Trader Conclave and call it an episode. Hey, guys. Ooh, you're interested in strategic resources. There's something else. Not our species. Symbolize the entire civilization. Yeah, so, no deal. Uh, if we can buy strategic resources, let's start with that first, actually. I keep thinking that's the communications are in there. So there's still a second trader enclave here. What do you got for sale? Regan Spice. And Grant's happiness plus 5%. No, we're into something else. We're just going to buy minerals, thanks. Thanks. And apparently... Yeah. Alright. I guess, uh... We only have three places or so that we can really build battleships then, huh? Because anywhere else, we're too far away from the core. They'll be ambushed. Which is a scary concept to me. We're down the worst kind of tech. Being down jump tech is the worst. Moving to the Sulan system. Right. I don't know if we'll be able to meet them there, but uh, yeah, no, we need to research jump drive. Oh, wait. All right, we're supposed to end the episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I've been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin, signing off.